Hi FrostTube, my name's Lynn. Welcome to my channel which is called Lancashire Stitcher. It's going to be mainly about cross stitch but I may include the items from other crafts that I do such as beading or crochet or knitting for example. Um, I live in East Lancashire in England uh, with my husband and my two cats. Um, I'm an empty nest mum of three and I have three grandchildren. Um, I work usually as a supply teacher or a substitute teacher in primary schools um, but because of lockdown and the Covid I haven't worked since March um, uh, hoping to get some work soon. So I've had lots of time to do lots of my crafts so I'm going to show you some of my finishes from over the last 30 years. Um, I started stitching when I was about 18. Um, somebody got me a tiny little butterfly kit for my 18th birthday um, and it's grown from there basically. Um, I have lots of stash, lots of whips, lots of UFOs. Um, I'm hoping to get some of them done. Um, the reason I'm doing this channel is to try and get myself motivated to get some finishes because um, I'm very much a process stitcher. I like the process of cross stitching rather than actually getting the finished item. So starting with my finishes. Um, this one is a big one is Mermaid of the Pearls by Mirabilia. I stitched this a few years ago using all the cold claw threads on a piece of pole stitches 32 count fabric but I'm not sure what the colour was. I didn't used to write down the colours. Um, I used to just use them. Um, but yeah, this is Mermaid of the Pearls and she needs reframing because the... Oh, because one of the mounts has dropped up here so I need to get her reframed. So there she is. My next one is a drawn thread chart and it's Welcome Christmas. I stitched this on a piece of 32 count raw Belfast linen using all the cold claw threads, beads, etc. This next one was my first Lavender and Lace design that I stitched and it's Earth Angel again. This one needs reframing. She's been framed for over 20 years but she's getting where she needs reframing now. Again she was stitched using all the cold claw beads, colours and threads. My next one is another old one. It's Lavender and Lace Gift of Peace. Stitched on a piece of 32 count linen using all the cold claw threads. This one's been done for quite some time as well. These all hang in my living room, usually. Now this one has to be one of my favourites. It's the Trick or Treat Fairy by Nora Corbett. And it was in one of the cross stitch and needlework magazines about 12 years ago. And I know this one was stitched on a piece of chestnut 32 count linen by Paul Stitches. It was the first piece of hand dyed fabric I bought, so I remember that one very well. I really like the effect it has on the picture. <laughs> Next one is Adia, the Garden Fairy by Mirabilia, stitched using cauliflower colours, beads, etc. on a piece of raw Belfast linen, 32 count. Again, she needs reframing. I've been framed for quite some time with these ones, so a lot of them need reframing as I've found out when I've taken them off the wall. This one is Heritage Stitchcraft Chorus Line. This one was stitched on a piece of 14 count Ada, which came in the kit. I really love the cute little chicks. 
And this one was a very old chart. It was a leisure arts chart. I think it was called Hollow Hornbur. And this was the first time I tried something with metallic threads. And it was the largest thing I'd done at the time as well. I was not used to only doing little tiny things. This this must be about 30 years old. This one is a My Big Toe design. Welcome to a new day. I really like stitching this one using all the Cold Fall colours. And again, it was stitched on Belfast linen, I think, from white. I really, really like that one. And the last frame one is this one. A Good Marriage by Lizzie Kate. I really enjoyed stitching that. That one sits in my living room. Like I said, I'm a process stitcher. I enjoy the stitching more than the finishing. So the next ones are finished, but not fully finished. So this is Mermaids of the Deep Blue by Mirabilia. I did a purple conversion that I found on the internet. I really love this one. I will get it framed at some point. Okay. My next one is a shepherd's bush design. I do like Shepherd's Bush. I have several of their charts in my stash. I just don't stitch them <laughs> enough. This one is All Is Well. Using, and I stitched it on a piece of antique Belfast linen using all the Colfar threads. My next one is a hands-on design chart and it's Wild Salt Earth, again stitched using all the Carl Far colours. This is, was another lockdown finish. Another of my favourite designers, the, um, the drawn thread. I have lots of drawn thread charts. This one is Apple Blossom Sampler. I stitched this a couple of years ago. It was a kit that I bought from Nimble Thimble. It's a really nice design to stitch using all the Carl Far colours. The next one again is a drawn thread. And it is, when I clip it on the board, Welcome Summer. Stitched using all the Carl Far colours on a piece of linen. You like the little bees here and over the beehive. And the next one is another drawn thread, another lockdown finish. And it is Christmas Thoughts Sampler. I really enjoyed stitching this one. It was a lovely stitch. It only uses a few colours. Again, it was a kit from, from Nimble Thimble, so it's just a piece of linen that I've stitched it on. I'm not sure what colour it is. But yeah, really enjoyed that. I really like the snowman up at the top. And this one. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. As far as stitching now is concerned, I usually do a monthly challenge 
um, through the Facebook group called 24 Hours of Cross Stitch. Um, but this month I decided to have a change because I've, I've been using those to make get new starts and I thought I need a month where I don't do any new starts. I need to get some work on some whips. So um, I finished August challenge early. So I decided I'm going to do a, a bit of a rotation um, on some of my biggest whips and some of the ones that I really want to get finished. Um, so I'm doing a three day con uh, rotation. So I stitch on a piece as much as possible for three days and then I use the Tiny Decisions, Dis Decisions app to pick the next thing that I stitch on. So at the moment, um, I'm, today's the third day that I'm going to be stitching on Stargazer by Mirabilia. Um, I started this quite some time ago, so I'm not sure what the fabric is. I know it's um, Paul Stitch's fabric, but I'm not sure what colourway it is. And I'm doing a red conversion by Nicole on, on the internet. I'm really liking this. I'm hoping to get this ribbon finished today and also maybe some of this ribbon down here before she goes away again. But I'm really liking stitching her. The next whip I've got is Nora Corbett's Foxglove. I really like this design. I'm stitching this on a piece of Pole Stitches Dawn Chorus 32 count fabric and that's my progress on it so far. I've not actually stitched on her yet this rotation but I did do a few monthly challenges on her so I really liking, I'm really liking how she's working at the moment. My next whip is my Christmas list by Silver Creek Samplers. Yeah. I know a lot of people are stitching this. I've been stitching it for a while. Again, it's on a piece of pulse stitches fabric, not sure what colour. I have started writing down what colour it is on the chart that I'm using so I know in future. So that's how much I've done so far. And as you can see, I've put another L in woolen for the English spelling of woolen. Just moved everything else slightly. I changed the size of things so that it still fit. So again, stitching using the cow bar colours. Really liking how that's stitching up. The next one is When Life Is Done by Silver Creek Samplers. I started stitching this um, last month um, on the anniversary of my dad's passing. I just thought it was really nice, a really nice verse. And that's how much I've done so far. Stitching using the Calfar colours, except for the birds, which I've changed to robins. Um, there were cardinals on the chart. Um, we don't have cardinals in the UK, so I changed it to robins. Um, so, because mainly because um, in Britain, um, people think robins are letting us know that loved ones are near. Um, that's stitched on a piece of Paul Stitches fabric from a grab bag, so I'm not sure what colour it is. The next one is The Three Wise Men from Black Bear Lane Designs. I really like this chart. I ordered this from 123 Stitch in America as soon as I saw someone was stitching it and I just had to get it. I'm stitching this on a piece of 40 count sandstorm linen by Permin using tent stitch just over one so I'm having to use my magnifier as well as my glasses when I'm stitching on that but that is so cute my next one is an old whip um, it's old because I know it's old because it's stitched on a piece of plain fabric. It was olive fabric, I think. Um, 
and it's Song of Christmas by Lavender and Lies. Where's my board gone? Board, you can see it. There we go. And this has been in my wet box for 20 years ish. So, yeah, really enjoying how that's coming out. Don't stitch on it anywhere near often enough. Um, my next one is Slater's stocking, stocking by Shepherd's Bush. I'm stitching this for my grandson and I'm using all the call for, for pearl cottons and um, classic colour which ones included which you can't get hold of anymore apparently. I've got a few more stockings I want to do and I can't get the cottons for them so I'll have to use the DMC. So that is how much I've done so far on that. It's been stitched on a piece of 18 count Flober over two. And it's a really quick stitch once I get going on it using the pearl cottons. This next one is, it must be my oldest, 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 oldest whip. And it's Sweet Dreams by Lavender and Lace. As you can see, the fabric is very creased because it's been washed several times when it's that old. And when it's finished, it will only just fit on the fabric. So I'm probably going to make it into a standing flat fold ornament or something like that when it's finished. All these little flowers that need to, to be done on the wreath around her. The actual lady and the baby are actually done. It's just the, the outside bit that needs finishing off. So it's in my rotation now, so hopefully I'll get to stitch on that soon. The next one is the drawn thread again, um, Stars. I bought this as a kit from Nimble Thimble, so I'm not sure what the fabric is that I'm stitching on, but it, it's, it looks really nice. Um, where's my board again? There we go. That's how much I've stitched so far. I like how the stars really stand out. So hopefully I'll get that finished shortly. Um, the next one is Enchanted Alphabet by Lavender and Lace. This has been in my stash for so long. Never got started with it. Never found the, the right fabric to stitch it on. And then a friend of mine was sewing some fabric and she was selling this one. It's called Cotton Clouds by Crafty Kitten. And I'm stitching it using the Carl Far colours. But I think when I get to the girl on the picture, the little girl, I think I'm going to change it to a, a purple or a lilac coloured dress rather than white. I really like that. And it's it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Once you get stitching it, the letters are bigger than you think. Um, the next one is Seaside Kingdom by Mirabilia. Um, I've only started this recently, again it's been in my stash for quite some time and I'm stitching it on a piece of Kynance by Sparkles. Um, I really like this fabric because it looks like the sea and the sky or the sand and the sky and that's how much I've done so far. Using all the coal for threads, I'm colouring in the sandcastle in DMC 739 so it stands out from the sky. But I really like this, it's a really nice stitch. Um, my next one, my final whip that I'm going to show you anyway, is Bygone Stitches One Nation. And I'm stitching this on 32 count raw Belfast linen using the Colfar threads. 
and I'm stitching it. I saw on a few people's floss tubes that they were doing one star and one state a week. I thought that's a brilliant idea. So I started that, but then I've realised I've only got those stars. So I'm now doing two stars and a state every week. So also doing extra bits as well, like the lines and things like that. So this last week I managed to do Kentucky and I did two stars. I really like this. I've been stitching this for quite some time again. Recent stash that I've bought. It's a haul. Um, Boris by Plum Street Samplers. Um, a piece of 28 count Brittany Lugana in marbled lilac by Paul Stitches. Nice purples there. And then I've just received this one. Hello from Liz Matthews, Yonder. I've seen this one being stitched and it looks really nice. And then I've got three artsy charts. The first one, Your Wings. Again, to stitch to remind me of lost relatives. Aquarium Silhouette. That's going to be a nice one. And then the last one, Colourful Guitar Landscapes. I really like this. I saw someone had finished this recently, so I decided to buy it. When I'll stitch it, I don't know. <laughs> um, floss tube. Um, I've been encouraged to do this by watching other people doing floss tube videos. Um, so I want to shout out to Globe Trotting Stitcher, Stitching Mommy, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World, uh, Difference Maker, and then Not Cross Jen. Teresa Little Stitches and April May June Stitcher and um, you've all encouraged me to do this through watching your videos so thank you um, I'll put links to all those down below um, any comments please be kind um, <laughs> it's my first one and it's took a lot to do this um, so as some people know I'm not the most confident person in the world so yeah so I really look forward to reading comments um, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.